Good morning. I'm Nick, and this is Khun Namtan, and we're in North Thailand, about 80 kilometers north of Chiang Mai. And today we're going to try and climb Doi Luang Chang Dao, which is uh, Thailand's third highest mountain. And as you can see, we're not alone. We're expecting it to be quite busy as it's peak season. The cherry blossom is out. It's a beautiful day. Uh, but it's going to be hard work because it's a, a big climb. Sorry for the terrible sound quality on much of this video. There are subtitles in English and Thai that you can turn on on YouTube. Uh, and here's a quick overview of the route that we took up. This is Kun Mai, who is carrying a lot of our equipment for us. <laughs> And here's how the trail starts. So everybody normally thinks that Thailand is really hot, but actually in North Thailand, uh, around now, which is mid-January, it's really quite cool. Even though the sun's out now, still need a jacket on. Uh, and at night it can go right down to freezing especially up on the mountain, so it can be quite cool. We were hoping to try and do this this hike independently. Um, it's not really possible because it's all quite tightly controlled by the National Park. So you just can't really do it without having at least a guide or a, a porter from the National Park. There's two main routes up. One uh, we just come from called Denya Kat, and then tomorrow we hope to go down to another one which is called Pang Rua, I think. So we've got a slightly different route down. And those are really the two only realistic options. There are some other routes up, but they're apparently very steep and very overgrown. So we're sticking to the main two. And now just emerging through the trees rather see the mountain and that's actually not the top that peak that you can see through the trees there that's before the top and there's a, there's a higher one further back so the idea is to climb all the way up on the first day uh, camping just below the summit then we'll climb up to the summit itself in time for the sunset I've just been told that then Yakat means hill with the grass crossing because this lowland path obviously has a lot of grass crossing. Following our man Kun Mai who uh, is carrying some of our stuff and most of it is actually, most of the weight is water. So now walking through a lovely shaded bamboo grove so part way up we passed Sam Yak, which is a junction of three ways, where we'll take a different route down on the second day. And shortly after that we had our first break. So it's lunchtime and we've been walking an hour and a half now. Nothing too strenuous just yet. And these are our team of porters or carry men having their lunchtime smoke. And this is their super high tech equipment. Been admiring. Tough guys. We have a message for your audience in Thai. So we're about halfway. It's pretty level this section. Somebody trap, mm -hmm. and we're um, we're going to an area called Bad Gluai Dam, which is uh, my camera's making noises, which is a banana jungle uh, in the middle of the forest. 
And then we got to a camp spot called Dong Noi, which isn't normally used unless there's an overflow or somebody has a problem or something. Um, you can see that the National Park staff have created some nice facilities here. In the afternoon, the going started to get tougher as the air warmed up and the path got steeper. So that's where we've come from, down there. All this is made of limestone. Around the area is quite flat. And these peaks just pop up almost in the middle of nowhere and they're all made of limestone. Camera battery's gone for a moment. So I'm just slipping in some video with the phone. See how it looks. Susu! Susu! Come on! Easy. Easy. He's done it a few times before. Not a problem for him. We've got the DJ. DJ in the house. Brought the music for us. I like you. <laughs> Dima crap. <laughs> dance, come on, dance. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Eventually, we made it to Ang Salung, which is a, a large, sprawling camp below the summit. Uh, we pitched the tent, which we'll take a quick look at later, and then we headed off towards the summit. So camp's all set up, and we're just setting off to go and check out the sunset up the mountain there. Apparently it's about half an hour walk. Is that right? Half an hour? Uh, yeah. So we're getting there now. I think there's going to be quite a few people up there. The park office told us something like 300 people on this mountain. I think it's probably the peak weekend of the whole year. Uh, so it's going to be a bit crowded, I think. Just looking down to the camp. Here come the mountaineers. Nearly there? Are we nearly there? No. no. Oh. Here's the gallery. Waiting for the sunset. Still not quite there. And we're just on the final approach now. And unfortunately, I forgot to bring my St. George's cross, so I'll have to remain in Thai hands for now. And over there on the right, I believe is Troy Pyramid, they call it. And I don't think you can climb it, it's very difficult to climb. So once the sun had set, the plan was to go back down to the camp and then to get up early in the morning and head up to those secondary peaks to the south uh, called Giu Lom Tai and to get a different view of the sunrise. Good morning. It was cold last night and it's still cold. I don't think you can see that, but it's just on zero degrees centigrade and there's plenty of ice on the ground and uh, we got on our way up to the other peak to look at the sunset the sunrise 
horror show. Uh, so we made it to the top of uh, Gyulom Tai to get a different viewpoint for the sunrise. And uh, we started at 5 a.m. And there was already lots of ice on the ground, so it was obviously below zero last night. We started with lots of layers of clothing, and halfway up we're already sweating like crazy and taking layers off. Very difficult to con control the temperature on a climb like that. Uh, reminded me a bit of climbing Mount Kinabalu in Borneo, waking up in the dark and hiking up to the top in time for the sunrise, except this time I think there's even more people. We've already got about a hundred people up here behind me. I think it's a major bucket list item, this one. Lots of people are ticking it off this weekend. Next time, to, next time to carry water. Yeah, we, we, we didn't bring any water because we didn't realise how hard it was and we were already thirsty. So that was a bad move. We might go and blag some water off someone in a minute. Uh, we're just looking down now over the lights of Chiangdao town. It actually looks like a big city from here. Um, and above us, beautiful, clear stars. There's not a cloud in the sky, but I don't think this camera would show it, I'm afraid. I want to tell your Thai viewers something. <laughs> She's very tired. Talk to you later. I can't see it. That's clouds, not a mountain. นี่นะคะพาอาทิตย์กําลังมาแล้วแต่ว่าหนาวมากคิดว่ายังคงสูงองศาอยู่คิดดูเหงื่อออกเปียกๆแล้วไม่อยู่บนดอยแล้วแบ
You know what type of plant? Plant. Hmm. Gulab, rose. Oh, it's rose. Yes. Ah. So this is our jungle camp that we stayed in last night. We got the first first brew of the day is on, which is a bit of a nightmare because we're using an alcohol stove and it wouldn't light. So I had to preheat it with some tinder and then the whole thing more or less exploded. So that was fun. And uh, here are our fellow campers. <laughs> After packing up, we made our way back down the valley as far as the junction at Sam Yek and then headed off north to go and meet the car down at Pangwua. <laughs> Ray <Rayo. laughs> <laughs> Ray Ray, oh Liverpool, very good. <laughs> Liverpool, team. Oh my hop. Oh my. Benner, Benner, I crap. Show me the label. Hong Tong. Oh. Go on, eh? Not, not walk, walk, walk away. Chucky crap. Chucky crap. Ah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Chucky crap. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> See, this is, this is why Liverpool fans are the best fans in the world. <laughs> they share their whiskey. <laughs> there goes our team of carry men. I think up there, I think that's Doi Pyramid as they call it. And I think we only have about an hour down to Pangwua where we meet the car. Looking down at the Three Brothers Sisters Peaks. We're going to head through that gap down there to the right. <laughs> We're back in the banana grove. It's like a team of Sherpas coming down from Everest Base Camp. Just look at these packs, what these guys carry. Super low tech, but it works and just to, for comfort, right? Oh, bamboo. Bamboo and it's like a soft. Wow. But they're used to it, right? From the nutsack. Oh, that's it. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very resourceful. Mm. And I'm following the National Park staff in full camouflage, except he forgot the socks. If he didn't have those socks on, we'd never see him. The socks give him away. <laughs> We're not nearly to the hot spring. <laughs> this bit's steep and it's really slippy, but these I don't care. Guys don't care. I thought you had bad feet. Here we are, back at the finish, finally. So we're down at the bottom already. So it was hard, but a little bit easier than we thought. It only took uh, two and a half hours, started at 11, and now it's just 1.30. And uh, if you wanted to do this trek, I'd definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. The views at the top are great, and it's just the right level of hardness. Uh, any more would be quite hard work, but it was just about right for us. This is Pang Wua at the end of the descent. And we got this nice Buddhist shrine here. And now we're going to drive back to Changdao.
Mm. Good morning. Good morning. That was a very, very long but nice and deep sleep. Mm. We've got the beautiful sound of the stream next to us, and I thought it might disturb us. But actually, I think it helps. I think it's relaxing. I think humans should sleep next to streams, <laughs> for sure. I think we've had about 10 hours. Mm. So maybe we have a chance to recover today in the hot spring so we're ready for the big climb tomorrow so we're going to get up have a cup of tea because nothing happens until we've had a cup of tea a bit of muesli and then we're going to go and lie in some nice water that smells of bad eggs <laughs> see you there so <laughs> namtan has got the tea on these other tents are all empty tonight, so we're on our own down here. You can see the mountain we climbed, Doi Luang Changdao. This is what we've been waiting for. Here's where the hot water comes in from the spring, just up the valley. And then when it reaches the bath, it cools down quickly because overnight it's been about five degrees, the air, and now it's only about 15. So it's just a nice, comfortable, warm water to, to bathe in. How does it smell? Just the thing for aching muscles and sore feet. This is perfect. <laughs> 